Hello everyone. I'm so excited to be able to share the word with you guys today. I really love this. Please uh, look at one another in the face and say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. So that means we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. So we're talking about this series and it's called Why Jesus? Because maybe you're thinking... Christmas, what do you think of first? Who thinks about <laughs> presents? So the first thing I think about when I think about Christmas is And it's like Kamai spaghetti, right? And everywhere I would go, when it's Christmas time, they make the same dish. Yeah, everywhere I go, whether it's compote, compote, So I think about this food when I think about Christmas. And then I also think about presents. Because I was curious, what, what's up with the present thing, giving and exchanging gifts. Who has ever received like a really amazing gift in your life? Like you got it and it was just like, wow. And it made you so excited. Maybe you got a diamond ring. Uh, oh, you haven't? Oh, maybe you could pray for one. Oh, did, did anyone get like a moto? Moto. Or a car? Or like a phone? Did you get some kmai cheese? <laughs> I had this friend of mine who was Korean. Also and I used to work with Koreans. And when they uh, were smiling really big, do you know what they would say? Kimchi! Kimchi! kimchi. Uh, for for uh, a photo, they don't say cheese, they say kimchi. So in Cambodia, what do we do? Prahok. Prahok. ប្រហោកជាគេគេមិនជាយើងប្រហោកមែនទេ <laughs> 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 And it's not because it was an expensive gift. But I got this gift from my daughter and she made it out of love. And it was my birthday present. Last month on the 25th. And she surprised me and I was so touched. I was crying. And I felt so much love from her. Because you know, like a gift that's given with love is, is a really special gift indeed. And that's why we talk about a Christmas time, because God is the one who has given us the best gift. And he gave us the gift of his own son. That he came 
because of his love. So in John 3:16 it says this. I remember this verse since I was a teenager. And actually I passed my Bible school test because of this one verse that I had memorized. <laughs> For God so loved the world. That he gave his only son that anyone who believes in him would not die but would have eternal life. Just imagine how much that God loves the world. So this word like so loved. <laughs> so <laughs> so <much. laughs> it's like, it's so much is like all the way to here. <laughs> and can I always say to your neck? Like <laughs> that's how you are. It's like so overfilling filling that we could more than we could imagine. <laughs> He loves us that we, he would love us more than the entire world. And because of his love, he would send his only son. That anyone who believes would have eternal life. So what God has for us is incredible. It's the absolute best. He's not the one who's giving us things that create problems. But he wants to give us the best. So that's why tonight's topic is the gift of love. So before I go into this topic, I want to talk to myself a little. And I just say to myself, God loves me up to here. It's a Cambodian saying. Sorry, guys. It's like Have you ever eaten so like, up to here? Like your stomach goes all the way basically. That's how much. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, I know It's like this doesn't <laughs> translate. God is love is awesome. And I cannot stop talking about it. Because I want to talk about how God created us from the beginning. How much did He love us? What did He want us to live with? When God created us, He put the people in the Garden of Eden. And He really wanted our true hearts. Who wants true love? Love that's true. Like really, that's true and real. Like because when God created us, He loved people. He didn't make people robots. He gave us choice. To see if we could love him truly back or not. So in the Garden of Eden, he put two trees. The tree of life. And we'll say this is the knowledge of good and evil. So when God created us in the beginning, this is what they received. They received joy, love, hope. Friendship. Kindness. Faithfulness. Generosity. Gentleness. Fullness of life. The prosperity in their lives. And victory. This was the plan of God for our lives. And he put this 
this tree in our lives because he wanted our lives to be full of it. And God put it all, all this good stuff for us. But he also created another tree. It's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And people, they chose this tree instead. Maybe if you look at the different descriptions of this tree, you feel like I've, I've experienced this. Because once they tasted of the tree of good and evil, violence happened. Hatred entered the world. Worry. Selfishness. Anger. Jealousy. Abuse. Bitterness. Jealousy. Shame. And when people began to choose this tree, this is what happened to the world. And I believe each and every one of us have experienced the fruit of this tree. Sometimes our shame is so strong, we don't even want to go and talk to God. Because when people... Uh, mankind began to eat of this tree, it affected every area. And living out this tree is so bitter. It's a life of pain. But God, He saw our pain. And He did not want us to stay there and be stuck there in that place. Most of us have kids. Do any, any of us would ever want to see our children suffer? God would never want to see his children He wanted us to live a life of fullness that he created for us. And that's why he came to earth himself. He died chose to die on the cross to set us free from this. Because we've been hanging on to this tree for too long. And we're in so much pain because of this thing. But God, he wants to cut it out of our lives. He came and he died. To show us the way that we can turn and and receive the tree of life instead. And even till today, he gives us the choice. Do I choose to take the tree of the knowledge of good and evil or the tree of life? Do I choose the way of the world or the way of Jesus? Because when I choose the way of the world, this is the result. But the truth of the gospel is this is what happens. This is what he has repaired for our lives. And it's not just for us. It's also for our children and the next generation. I love the verse that talks about he wants to bless us and our children to a thousand generations. This is the love that he came and he gave us this gift. And I want to talk about love uh, between two people. So Joseph and Mary. So my first point is 
that the love of God is relentless. It never stops. 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 Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Because His love endures forever. Because when Jesus came to become a man, He chose one girl. Her name was Mary. And she was a virgin. And and before Jesus came to earth, he sent an angel to come and <inaudible> declare his coming. And the angel told Mary. And in the beginning, Mary was like, how? She's like, how does that work? I'm a virgin. How am I going to be pregnant? And who's going to take responsibility for this? <laughs> She's like, almost like, what? Almost actually rejecting it. But the love of God never gives up. Even if Mary was like, Wait. God, he just keeps on. And the, the angel explained to her, oh, it's going to happen through the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will come on you in power and you will become pregnant. And your child will be the Savior of the world. And that made Mary so excited. And the Creator, the Savior of the world, came to live inside her. And even if she rejected God, God never rejected her. He continued to love her relentlessly. And if I look at the history of 400 years before Jesus was born, and for those 400 years, actually, the whole world was very quiet. And that meant that God had not been speaking through the prophets at that time. But for those 400 years, it was amazing what God was doing. But what God was doing was he was actually preparing the place for Jesus to to be born in. So all the different things that needed to be prepared. And Jesus came at exactly the right time. When I think about that, I used to pray to God. And sometimes he's very quiet. And I'm wondering why he's so quiet. Like, I'm trusting God, I'm praying, but it's quiet. I don't know what he's doing. But I have good news for each of us tonight. When we think that that God is not doing anything because he's so quiet. Nothing's changed. I want to tell you, he is still moving. He's working and he's preparing the path for your life. Because at his time, his path will be made known. He always gives us the best Things. And that's his love that he has for us. And how can we respond to his love? We can respond by loving his plan. 
When Mary heard the explanation of what's going to happen, she probably had already had her own plan for her life. And she was planning to marry Joseph. And then after that, she would get pregnant. But, but the plan of God for her life was completely different. But when she began to understand that this was God's plan, she said yes to it. And this is what she said. And this is what she she said, I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. And then we look at the plan that Joseph had. When Joseph heard that Mary was pregnant, what do you think he did? I'll divorce her quietly. You know, he, was he, was good, he was a good guy. You know, the Bible says he was a good guy. He didn't want the news to get out that Mary was pregnant. So he was like, all right, I'm going to just divorce you. And, and maybe, and that was his plan. He, he had a plan. But if he did that, he would have made a huge mistake. And so he's, he's thinking, he's considering his plan. And an angel came to him. And maybe he was stressed out, like, oh, this is going to be hard. I have to divorce her. It's so hard. And the angel came to him and said, hey, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Because the baby in her belly is of the Holy Spirit. And he will be the Savior of the world. And so what did Joseph do? Yes! I want that! So his Again. Because his idea would have created division. But the plan of God made a way for them to be together. So it was very important that both of them chose the plan of God for their lives. And when they chose to love God's plan for their lives, God did something amazing. You know, they became like these very important people in history. So whenever we talk about Christmas, we talk about Mary and Joseph. And their names are known throughout the world now because they chose to say yes to God's plan for their lives. I used to have my own for my life. So when I was in school, I wanted to be an architect. And I, whenever the teacher would ask me, what do I want to be when I grow up? I want to be an architect. And I, and I had this vision in my head, like this picture, I was going to be so awesome. And I was looking at my parents, yeah, they've got money, they're going to pay for my studies, I'm going to be able to do this. And so I prepared my own plan for my life. And I had been to church as a, a teenager. But I, I wasn't so interested in God. I just went because I wanted to have fun. And so I had not asked God his idea about his plan for my life. I was just doing my own thing. And this was what I imagined I was going to be an architect. But 
What I got to do instead was I had an arch in my neck. I say, yeah, instead of an architect, I had an arch in my neck. Awesome. Yeah, I became a cement worker. Oh, where did my good plan go? My parents got into huge debt. And my brothers and sisters didn't have a job. And after high school, I became I had to go to work doing cement. Because I had chosen my own plan. I had chosen my own plan for my life. And I loved my own plan. And everything that I met was on this tree. The pain. The bitterness. The sadness. Everything on this. This was in my life. Because I had chosen my own plan. But one day when I was so hopeless and I was so out of everything, I finally began to seek after who can change my life. Who can take the bitterness out of my life and make my life better? And that's when I began to test out Jesus. And from that day on, God began to completely transform my life. It was absolutely miraculous. He changed me from the cement worker to become the architect. But instead of uh, building, I build the kingdom now. So instead of building buildings, I build the kingdom of God and wow, And it's so special. And now instead of these things, I see <laughs> these things in my <laughs> life. When I chose to follow after Jesus, all of these things began to happen in my life. And it it's like as I get closer and closer to Him, it's like these things are farther and farther away. As I choose God's plan for my life, all these things begin to happen in my life. This is what God has prepared for each of us. He doesn't want us to live in our bitterness. He wants to break off every curse that we've lived under. And He wants to bring us blessings. You can look at one another and say, you are blessed. Hey, do it with confidence. You're blessed. You're really blessed. Not joking. Have you wondered why did God want to be, make us a people of blessing? Because he wants the blessing in our lives to be so overflowing that it blesses others. This is is the plan of God. No this is the heart of God no for no us. When we try to make our own plans, it looks like this. You know, it's like, it's like your brain turns to noodles. The more you try, the more it's just like, it's a mess. You know, you kids, you may be your, you don't have noodles for brains. Okay. But it's like the older you get, the more it turns into mush. There's more burdens. There's more stress. It's so much more complex. And you well, just then, want to fall apart. But this is the promise of God for our lives. He wants to straighten the mess of noodles. He wants it straight. And this is what Proverbs says. 
กับอ้อยเปิงไปเลยอยู่บอร์บอกลุนเลยตรึงอ้อยตะตัวสกอตตรงในกรุ๊ปแตงเพลย์ไอ้เจ้านู่ตรงนั่งดำรองเพลย์ชะรบไอ้ Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. ปรกภายนกาชีวิตบ่อยเงตัวบ่อง Allow Him to direct your path. ปรกลอยได้ Give it to him. b a c h i l a n hai kum tu levan tiet. Ma net lo b a c h i l a n hai tu levan ne. Khai lan thun. Mie ne. b a c h i l a n hai tu tu levan na. Tu ne le k h b a la. b a c h i l a n ta si ban dai jo levan ma tu le k h b a Okay, so you've, have you ever ridden in a taxi and put stuff on your head? Ti bro khai lan thun. Because maybe you're afraid to hit the ceiling. Khai lan vi thun pe nhé. จังเอาไว้เรียงเถิดเพื่อดักไอ้วันเลือลาน So what you need to do is take the stuff off your head and put it in the car Enjoy สบายตามเพลิงมือเตะสพีบ Enjoy your Enjoy your ride Take the burden off ป้องนังเรียบจอมภายในการของชีวิตบ่อเยื่อ God's gonna be the one to prepare the way ประกุลภายในการชีวิตบ่อเยื่อแต่การป้อง Allow him to direct your path. จำดังทาปกไม้บองโอนทลบมันแน่มันแน่สแตมินภายในการเรียนเรียนครูน Look, I believe we've all had our own plans for our life. ผมว่าแน่มินภายในการเรียนครูน Who's had a plan for your life? Yeah, อากุน Thank you, thank you. พี่ยมินได้ Me too. ปนใต้ดำใบภายในการบอกยืงดมนาการเตยยางหล่อ But if we want this plan to go well, ประกุลเตยปอง Give it to God. Give it a hundred percent to God. And choose to love His plan for your life instead. It's so painful when we just do our own thing. I don't know how many worries I carried when I chose my own way. I was in, I had so many painful experiences. But I just said, you know what? I'm full of this tree. I'm full of the fruit. I don't want to live this way anymore. I want to give it to you. I want to give my plan to you. And I want to encourage you to really be honest today. Who feels like they're full? They're full of this tree. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Who's done? Done with this one. I'm done. I'm done. I give my plans to God. I give it all the way to God. And I'm going to receive His life. Because that's where the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, self-control comes from. When I give my life to Him, He doesn't want us to live our lives this way. But He is the God that never changes, and He continues to give us the choice today. Because Our transformation is dependent on our choice. If we continue to choose the path of the world, our own plan, or we choose Jesus and His plan. Because when we turn to Him, that's the way we go. But when we choose the world, that's what we that's what we get. So we come to the. So I really hope that you're able to keep this visual in your heart. And my last point is that the love of God brings us together. It doesn't matter what nation we are from. He brings us together and he creates a family out of us. And you know, through our different small groups and our church, we've had different experiences of love. And coming to church, we receive the love of God. 
Because the love of God it breaks down every wall. And even though we come from different provinces, different backgrounds, different status, we can sit together and love one another. Let's watch this video together. Singing in the kitchen, family, running through the yard, family, going on vacation, family, on the credit card, family, all in this together, family, we're taking a chance, family, blackbirds of a feather, family, we got the shoes and dance. When we choose to put Jesus in our lives, this is what's going to happen in our lives. When we choose to receive God's gift of love for us, when we choose to receive His plan for our lives, this is what happens. We have life. He gives us the choice. And this is the day that you can choose to transform your life. Because this choice will affect every area. It'll It'll transform your family. And it'll transform your children to the next generation. Because he wants to bless your whole family. He wants us to live a life with a smile. Filled with happiness. And he prepared everything for us. And he's asking you today. Do you choose to receive his love? Will you choose to turn and receive him? Let's all stand together. I want you to consider that movie we just watched. When you go home, think about these trees. Which tree do you want to live out? And which tree's fruit do you want to bring into your family? God, he's ready for, to receive us. Even if you have your own plan for your life. But when we put our plans into His hands, He's going to transform everything to make it better. 
And we can leave our life of bitterness. And live a life with Jesus. And victory. He's going to give us victory. And the, the life that used to be such a mess. He's going to give you an incredible testimony. And what he has prepared is good for us. There's one verse I re- remember. In John chapter 10, verse 10. He came to bring us life and life in abundance. God wants to give us life in abundance. But in order to do that, He had to come and die on a cross. Because this is important that in order to give us life, He did this. He wanted us to smile. He wanted us to have joy. He wants this blessing in our families. And if you want to choose to take this tree. The tree of life. Go ahead and raise your hands. Close your eyes. And let's just declare together. Jesus, we thank you that you came to die on the cross that we all could have life in abundance because of it. Thank you that you took away our pain and suffering that we could come because of your choice. You took our pain you came to set us free. Because you loved us. And today we receive your love. We ch- ter- choose to turn and follow after you. That you have for us today. This is what we choose. This night we choose to be transformed. That we leave our old life behind. That our bitterness stays behind. And you give us a life of abundance. That your joy from heaven comes on us. From today on, when I walk away from here, I walk away with the tree of life. Thank you, God. That your love has never given up on me. And we give it in Jesus' name. Amen.